Yo, what's up everyone, and welcome back to another Dabba 3 Reapers of Souls video. My name is Shredblood, and today I'm bringing you guys an in-depth review guide on the stone gauntlets. So a lot of people don't understand the game mechanic of the stone gauntlets, but let's go ahead and read its secondary effect. Getting hit increases your armor by 50%. But reduces your movement speed by 15% and attack speed by 20%. So you can lose uh, you can lose a lot of movement speed and a lot of attack speed. And they turn you to stone, which will completely immobilize you. But there is a few ways that you can actually uh, really switch this around by uh, using a couple things. So ice climbers. Uh, remove immobilized effects so if you're running a legacy of dreams build stone gauntlets paired with ice climbers are really good and now there, then there's the uh, certain skills that actually help you like if you can man maintain wrath of the berserker a hundred percent of the time then yeah as well as Ockridge champion as you can see in the leaderboards all of the top 140s by the solar crusader and of course uh the barbarian are using stone and gauntlets and if you look there they have cooldown on your both rings your uh the diamond in your helm your necklace your shoulders and your gauntlets and both of your weapons just to maintain the uptime but of course these guys are also spec'd for area damage as well so you really you at least want to end one ring definitely in your or diamond in the helmet and both your swords but yeah you just gotta maintain at least I would say at least 50 plus and then of course you want to roll, roll with the boon of Bolkathos, which actually reduces it by 30 seconds. So that makes it 90 seconds. And then I have about what? 50, almost 53% cooldown. But mine's in, both of mine is in both my swords. I have one in my uh, convention of elements. Of course, this one could actually be better. It's only 5%. It's not even the greatest roll. But yeah, Diamond and Helm, we got it on their shoulders and the gloves. Although none of them are ancient, it's so hard to get a good pair of shoulders or gloves. With strength, reduce cooldown, run damage, and then vitality. And then same thing with these. You would want to go strength. Because you also want to spec area damage into your gloves. Well, I mean in your shoulders, you can't spec area damage into your gloves. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into a 105 and show you guys how well this really works and we are using the bow cathos instead of the little rope and slanderer so we can because you get that bonus uh 45 percent increase attack speed and movement speed so even if we are at five stacks we're not gonna turn to stone so you can also think about that when you spec the little rope and uh, slander which i have mine spec for area damage so I wouldn't go and jump into 105 and show you guys how well this really, really works. Let's see, what's our DPS at? As you can see, we're getting hit and we're at like 1.2 million. So we're getting a lot of armor, like that's crazy. And this build is not spec for area damage at all. So yeah, you know, think about that. And as you can see, we've maintained our complete uptime at 52% with Boon of the Bold Cathos. Wow, this lightning and his shield is destroying me. Oh, he's going to go down soon. And when you spec area damage, you can, you can slay these guys. But as you guys can see, I'm not having it too much time. You do see that slow down because, I mean, I can still, I can still run around. Although it is a little glitchy. I would love to see them fix that. I'm just trying to gather some mobs. But yeah, we can almost completely manage complete uptime on it. See? 
See, like, if you get 52%, well, I'd, I'd say you'd be good with 50, to be honest. Alright, let's try to gather some bombs. Oh, there's an elite pack. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Although the dildos will slay me. But with so many people. Oh, we, we still got the elite. Let's take him down. Oh, wow, we didn't do hardly any damage to him. That's not good. He's an octa though, so that's that's pretty good. But yeah, we can completely manage uptime on this. So if you get like 50, I would say go right for 50%. And with Hogwarts Champion will be a little bit different. So I don't know how high you guys would want to spec your cooldown into that. I don't play Crusader a whole lot. So yeah. But with Bo Katho set, we can completely manage uptime. Plus you get that movement speed. One of five is so easy. I'll be very surprised if I proc. I don't have any gear augmented. My Bane is stricken, trapped, and uh, take off are all like 106, 107. They could definitely go higher. And I can even push higher now that I am using some gauntlets, which I only recently started using. But yeah, I, you can just flack your riffs with this. And so much fun. And you can even push higher in groups. Even if you're not using a ZDPS monk or even uh, any support. Like you can you go 105s to 1010s, easy, unaugmented, and just slay. Which is pretty much what we're doing. We're slaying. And we got about 4.5 million DPS. So that's pretty good. And then our armor tanks up at what? 1.5, 1.4. So if you can manage that uptime, oh, you're golden. And we started with a good map, although we only had the speed pile on. If I had like a conduit, oh man, that was, that was shred. Okay, this is a terrible map. Oh, we got two elites. Nice. And then you can actually see I did turn the stone, but I already, I just didn't proc my Wrath of the Berserker in enough time. Because, you know, you don't constantly want to smash buttons. And we hit Paragon 1, 1,291. That's pretty awesome. Oh, we got both of them in here now. That's good. I would love my Aquas to be a little closer. Oh, he's not dead? What? Yeah, but you can definitely see when you're starting to slow down is when you're out a Wrath of the Berserker. Oh, and we got a shield. That's not the greatest. I would say Conduit or anything and I'm actually using blood funnel instead of wind shear since you switch out your uh, what is it your crimson set and you don't have that reduced resource calls you should probably switch to wind shear but blood funnel just gives you that extra healing since we're not going with the plow for the uh, battle rage it's just really nice I guess we'll pop shield I mean, I don't think I really need it. <laughs> oh wow, this map is not great. Usually I can do one of fives in like five minutes if I get good pylons, but this one, this map has been horrendous. But we did find elites, hopefully. And the mobs aren't, they're all tanky mobs too, so that's, that does not benefit me. And we got the pot, oh, we got the dildos in here. That's, that's nice. Yep, and I haven't procced, well, I have that shield, I was gonna say I haven't procced 
a single time in a 105, which is very nice. And here we are at the Rift Guardian. See, this is, she's a pretty easy one. And you just spin to win, spin to win. I would go with, uh, definitely go with Windshare for this one. Since you're not using Captain Crimson, always use Windshare. That would be my highly recommend recommendation. And there we have, we've done it in, I guess it was definitely under seven, so that's, that's good. That's nice. And we'll probably get some more Paragon, so that's good. Can't up any of those. But yeah, all in all, super easy. Really, really easy. It's, that wasn't hard at all. We didn't we didn't get come close to dying, so but as you push up hard higher GR, you definitely want to put some more in the life. I got about 545k life. But as you push higher than GRs 130s, you wanna at least have 800 k just to be on the safe side. And I def definitely was not on the safe side. But if you guys enjoyed the video, please go ahead and smash that thumbs up. Would be greatly appreciated as well if you're new to the channel. Please go ahead and remember to subscribe. And there you go. There's the complete in-depth review guide for the stone gauntlets. Manage that uptime. That's that's all I can say.